What's up, YouTube? We are trying to get out of the street by my shop. So there's crazy traffic and car transports, and I never any fun. Um, but anyway, we are going to go change a compressor um, in a Lennox AC13 condenser. The I was there Wednesday, and um, the compressor wouldn't start because it should do my seatbelt. The um, compressor wouldn't start, so I ohmed it out and I have an open winding. Um, what it sounds like, because I guess the, the doctor, yes, another doctor's office that we service, um, the doctor didn't realize it wasn't running and just continued to run it and run it and run it and run it and run it. And apparently this unit has no low pressure cutoff on it. It has no high pressure cutoff on it. Um, so the only thing stopping the, the compressor from basically burning itself out is the internal overload. Um, so nevertheless, Pressure won't start. It seems like the the overload may have tripped and just stopped stopped it altogether. Um, it won't reset. So I tried to get it going. I tried tapping on it. I tried, you know, seeing if I can get it to to reset, but it was not the case. So I am headed to go change that compressor. Um, it's eight years old, uh, out of warranty because it is commercial. So um, when I looked up the parts through Lennox, that compressor for that condenser unit is no longer available and they do not have a part that replaces it. Um, it is an R22 piece of equipment, so I don't know if that plays into it, but Nevertheless, they don't have any parts for it. So, I went to my phone. I found a cross-reference through the Copeland app. Um, and I checked those numbers against it. Everything reads the exact same. Uh, the only difference is the fact that the new one has BOE instead of mineral oil, which is fine. Um, I checked my local Johnstone and they had one in stock. So I went over yesterday, picked it up. Um, so we are headed there now to go replace it and see how that all goes. Um, it kind of sucks because the, the doctor is selling the building. Um, so it's at the point now where I, I think he's going to contract in the next week or so. So, you know, unfortunately this unit needs to run like now. Um, so, we shall see how this all plays out. And I'll take you guys along for the ride. All right, so we're here. It doesn't really get much better than this because there's the unit. The furnace is right inside that door. And there's my truck. Working conditions don't get much better than that. All right, enough talk, let's get to it. Love 
Tell them lies 
also so this lodge this the discharge line so this way I can kind of rock it back and forth and get a little bit more play you can see how much I shifted it back just so I can play and pull that out so this way I can save this stub down so it'd just be a quick sweat back in again so we'll let it cool down we'll pull it out we'll set the new one braise it up all right so we got new compressors in it's just being held in here so it doesn't move back on me I got some tension on here what I did was I actually took this discharge line and actually bent it just slightly back this way just to create a little bit of a spring to want to push this back in and the same thing with here with the the suction line so this way everything just seats nice and tight once we get it going some of the brazing that's already existing right in here we'll start to adhere and lock everything in and we can add our little little bit to fill in the joint and then do the little bit of a crown on the top and be done Up. All right, so vacuum pump is on. I was baking in the sun because being part Irish, I was uh, in the need of some shade. So right now we're pulling in the vacuum. It's taking a little while, but we're good to go. All right, guys. Obviously, I'm in the truck. I am pretty whipped. That went well. Um, didn't get a chance to really film the end of it because although he is in contract for this building, um, sell the building, he's actually trying to get out of that contract because I, 
something with a, a different doctor wants to take it over and do changes and the village of Babylon here is giving him a hard time with what changes he wants to make so it's just holding up the whole sale of the building so he's trying to get out of that and get into another contract with another doctor um, another dentist because that's what uh, this doctor is um, and just sell the whole business as is so better for him because he can sell all the equipment to her and all of his patients you know all of that stuff can all just transfer right over to her and great for her um, she's new just starting out of practice so how cool is that so anyway they were oh, go this way because it's going to take forever to turn the other way um, they were right by me checking out some stuff outside when I was finishing up so I didn't really get a chance to film anything um, so we are all squared away that went well the compressor is running like a champ um, and for the most part that's it guys I mean it's, it's a fairly simple job uh, a nice small little compressor um, gotta like those better than the big commercial 10, 20 ton compressors, they suck. Um, so, anyway, I will catch you guys on the next one. Uh, for now, like this video, subscribe, comment, share, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.